Hello guys, welcome to a new test video of the Apple Silicon powered MacBook Pro 13 inch baseline model with 8 GB of RAM and 256 GB of SSD storage. Today I'm redoing the video about Eclipse and installing it properly. Many of you guys mentioned that you have to move Clips into the macOS applications folder to get it running. And that is exactly what we're trying to do today. So I completely removed Eclipse again. So we are starting by heading over to Eclipse.org and downloading the latest version for macOS. All right, so we are here, macOS, and download. Yeah, as always, the download will take quite a while. Oh, not so much, 84 megabytes, that's not very much, to be honest. So let's hope, let's hop over to uh, the installer, uh, unpack the DMG file. Well, let's close Safari. All right, so that's the Eclipse installer. And I will move it into the applications folder right now. I mean, that's the installer. I have no idea why I should move the installer, but let's see what is happening. Open. Yeah, last time we got a problem, I think, with the download of something. The Eclipse installer was running, actually, but the download failed. So I'm curious to see this time what will happen. In the meantime, I installed a Java SDK for IntelliJ, so that was working. All right, install. I'm curious what will happen. In the meantime, I have to say thank you guys for watching these videos. Your support is insane. Uh, your community, your comments. I very much appreciate every single of those. So thank you very much, guys. All right, so this is basically the same thing which was happening the last time. Download is pretty slow. I'm not sure if download... Yeah, it seems to be finished right now. So, okay. Let's hit the launch party. Eclipse. Um, the splash screen is showing. We are now... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it seems to be working. So this was absolutely my fault the last time around. Again, guys, thank you for commenting uh, the solution. And now Eclipse seems to be working. Uh, let's create a new project. Java, sure. Um, test. I just want to, to mention that these videos are not about how the M1 chip will work with massive projects. It's just a test if it will work with Java, with Eclipse. In my opinion, it doesn't make a big difference if you load up a project with hundreds of thousands of code lines. If it works with one line, probably will with more. All right, module info. I have no idea what that is. A new class, main, why not? Uh, startup. I'm not a Java guy. I should not have moved it into the test package. System. So IntelliSense, or I don't know how to call it in Eclipse, but IntelliSense actually is working. I'm running on Apple Silicon. Remove this. Remove that. And you see uh, the console output this. I'm running Apple Silicon, so everything seems to be working fine. So Eclipse and Java is working. It is confirmed right now. You can start up Eclipse. You can just run it. No problem at all. So seems good to me. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. And I will catch you in the next one, which is probably about Python. Keep, keep asking about new videos. And I will aggregate all of your comments and prioritize them. So... Okay, guys. Bye. Thank you.